We're on losers round two now. We didn't have any losers round one matches on stream. We're on losers round two right now. So again, we're getting Katsu versus Phantom. Uh, they're playing right now. Fish, then Fishboy versus Silver Surfer. And then we're going to get Ethan versus Giles. So again, J Flex and Aquatic Fox, as well as Sid Mae and Falco Fish. You guys should get your games done. Putting extra emphasis on Sid Mae and Falco Fish getting their game done before Silver Surfer has to do his match. So, Sinmei, uh, you're going to be playing against Falco Fist. If you lose this one, though, Sinmei, you will be eliminated from the tournament for this week. So, just keep that in mind. All right, Katsu actually taking the first stock here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it wasn't enough. The angle was a little weird. He wasn't able to get the kill. But that'll do it, bro. I didn't even see Pitt's body hit the ground. Yo, what's going on, Slamma? Welcome back aboard to Salt's Platoon. Ooh. Oh, he did it again. Although Katsu had a pretty decent lead at the start, Phantom proving once again that he's the raid boss. Not even is not only is he the raid boss of the lobby, he's also won two of these tournaments here. The matches have been, outside of some technical issues, the matches have been going pretty well here. We've already got double back here banded banana against bro. What more can I ask for? Uh, yeah, we can do Ethan versus Giles next, and then Fishboy, and then Silver Surfer. If the, the Falco Fox versus, uh, Falco Fist versus Sid may set take a while, we can do that. He's right here, Sinme. Uh, Sinme. It's Silver Surfer. They're playing from the same console. Oh, Sinme joined the wrong arena. <laughs> Oh, and just like that, my man, Rob, takes the first game. Those guys, if you haven't already, please be sure to like the stream. We're getting Hero. I don't think I've seen Katsu play Hero. Was able to get back phantom wasn't able to get the complete doctor disrespect here oh oh it's not gonna be enough for the ko though Or we got some bounce here. Oh. Oh, nice stock. Beautiful, beautiful. Katsu once again setting the pace for the match by getting the first stock here. Oh, we got a Smash Brothers moment. Not gonna kill oh my god that was disgusting all right katsu's still in here though it might be hard but if you can just avoid taking too much damage on this stock he might be able to close that gap maybe even taking this victory
Ooh, okay, nice block. Wasn't able to get back on the stage. But you know what? He wasn't spiked. He wasn't spiked. He's still in here. Gets a back throw. Oh, that's going to hurt. Takes the stock. All right. He got, he has Rob down to his last stock. It's not impossible. But he's going to have to play really carefully here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He just went for the up smash. Taking the game. Making it 2-0. Oh. We'll, we'll do it like that. Yeah, no doubt, man. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys wait. You'll be the the third. You, you're two matches away from here, or two sets rather uh, away from being on stream. Oh no, Fishboy lost his stock already. That is unfortunate. Think Ping, we know he tends to have a bit of an advantage in this big boy matchup. Seeing that he can fight off stage, Bowser has a much more difficult time fighting beneath, uh, beneath and off the stage. Oh, nice down smash for Fish Boy. 76% honestly even against another heavy isn't so bad if he can secure the stock here. Oh great use of Gordino Oh, what a parry goes for the dash attack. What's fishboy gonna follow up with? You know what? I respect that he took a second to uh, decide what he was gonna do there. Ooh, he barely misses the grab There's the hammer. Is Silver Surfer going to try to end it with a hammer? Wow, Bowser did not care, bro. That's the Koopa King of the Koopa. I, I can't say what I was going to say before, bro. Uh, of, of the Koopa Kooplings, bro. Of the Koopa Cookouts. The Koopa Tears. Uh-oh, 141. My man is not looking too healthy. Nice down there. Oh, Gordino ready for the attack, putting in that overtime. All right, great block from Fishboy here. All right, he got him off stage. This might be an opportunity for him to get another stock. Bro, Silver Surfer has been so consistent with sticking those Gordos. We reached 20 likes. Nice. Oh, we need, yeah, we need to reach 20 likes. I'm not even sure what it's at right now. Fishboy manages to take the stock. Be awesome if you guys can get me up to 20 likes. Just like that up there was fantastic for my man Don Pinguino. I see Mewtwo from time to time, bro. I always thought Mewtwo was such a cool. I always liked his kit in Smash Bros. This is going to be a pretty interesting matchup because Fishboy, I think he's going to play a much longer range game, trying to avoid Gordino as much as he can. But he, his timing always have to be there. He also has some pretty good buttons. That neutral air is delicious. The up smash hits really nicely here. Oh, my goodness. My man, Silver Surfer, time that. Oh my god, we got the first shield break. Ready, Smash Brother? This was the first shield break of the night on stream. You love to see it. Well, except for the person getting hit by it. I assure you that they do not love to see that. Mewtwo is definitely very, very, very light. No, there's that neutral air into side till. You love to see it. Mewtwo is pretty underrated. Uh oh oh my goodness we got another smash brothers moment the scream zoomed out really really far there i think it made it a little difficult for fishboy to recover oh nice forward air Fishboy taking the first stock, putting his name on the board. Might be all he, he needs to get the momentum going. He has to do something. We get it. He got hit with the Penguino Shuffle. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh, my man Aquatic is already cooking, bro. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, uh, uh, Falco Fist one, yeah. Uh, you're not playing against. You got. You already did the set, Seb. Falco Fist one two zero. You already did the set. You already been eliminated for the the tournament today. Oh my God! What a gimp. Yeah, it's, it's a little jank, but the top eight has started. We officially have all of our top eight matches. We already did. Uh, we have Katsu Phantom, Fishboy Silver Surfer, uh, Ethan, Aquatic Fox, Neon, and Falco Fair. So congrats on getting the top eight, guys. Yeah, it was the first set of top eight. That is correct, Phantom. All right, Aquatic definitely has a chance to close the gap here. It won't take a little bit more of a tickle to get uh, DK out of here with how hard Byleth hits. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, there's always next week, Savage. Pickups happen in tournaments. That's why I always try my best just to keep things going, not to get uh, stuck on the mishaps and stuff. Stuff happens. Oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough for the stock. Ooh, misses the arrow. Oh, but you know what? My man did not have the vertical he needed to get back to the stage. Oh, he's go he's looking to end it here. He's looking to end it here. Ooh, that down there would have spelled disaster for Ethan. Ethan is looking to go far this week. You miss playing more heavy characters, been playing light characters all day. Oh! Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead. Oh! Bro, I'm ready to bring back the handsome, the handsome monkey emote, bro. I'm ready to bring it back. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that offer coaching on the server too. Like I know a Beastmaster was uh, looking for people to coach a few weeks ago. It'd definitely be worthwhile hitting him up, JFlex. I don't want to not see you in the tournaments no more. It's just, we got a lot of lobby demons here. We got, we got a lot of demons here, bro. Oh, what a back air. Aquatic just hasn't been able to hit a heavy enough hit to get the KO, but I stand corrected. He gets the stock. Both players are relatively close to percentage here. Nice neutral aid. Doesn't get the grab. Ethan was ready for it. Here he goes. The back air abandoned. Back on his banana gants again. Uh-oh. Is that a smash? That is a Smash Brothers moment. And unfortunate it is. Giving Aquatic the chance to maybe come back from this. Oh, what a wall jump. See if he gets some damage on, because if he just loses the stock like this, he still gives Ethan a chance to come back. 27% is heckin' low. Yeah, J Flex plays Sonic. Uh-oh. Yeah, Ethan wasn't close enough, but he does still get the smash. 70% is not honestly not the worst. It does 90% leaves Aquatic in a great spot here, but he just has to be careful. Really watch his spacing. Oh, and that he did, making the score 1-1, taking us to our first on-stream game three set of the night on uh, this week. And it feels really nice, and a lot of that has to do with just how frequently and how often you guys go and support me, even if I'm playing or doing something that you might not even necessarily be into. It means a lot. And we got Captain Falcon.
Oof. That brother gone. I didn't even realize my man pulled out the... I, I swear I wasn't doing stuff on the back end. I didn't even notice that Ethan pulled out the Falcon, bro. He said he was going to bring it out. And what better time to do it than this Game 3 match? He's already has such of a huge advantage. But I don't know. I feel like Aquatic Fox is going to have an easier time playing against Falco. Well, Falcon here. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of this thanks to you guys. They like this. Uh, people like to see the low tier characters do well. We've been getting more comments about that. Like, you really like the Ganondorf clips and the uh, DDD clips and the Donkey Kong clips, the Jiggly Puff stuff. Falcon, Falcon does go hard. Oh, off the back throw? Or right, Ethan is not out this yet. You just have to be real careful. Oh, he let go of that guard a little too early. Nice neutral air. Do the combo. Do the dance. Uh oh, Ethan's gonna have to be careful here. Does he get a follow up off the up B? Decides not to hit a button against the Raptor boost. Uh oh, is this it? We're gonna get a knee? We're gonna get a knee? Oh my god, that neutral was crazy. He put himself in harm's way over that. Okay, Ethan is still in this. It's not over yet. It's not over until that man says grave. Oh, he almost got off the dock. If you join my Discord server, I have a channel called Plugs where you can uh, plug that. But it is a little BM. Adult Link definitely needs respect. Oh, we got another Smash Brothers moment. I got distracted. I missed the gosh darn shield break. I got the doctor distracted, bro. Chopper's playing Fox. Uh-oh. Yo, Silver Surfer looked ready for this. Oh, I'm sorry. Falco Fist looked ready for this. Thanks. Nicely. Thanks. Nicely. Uh, 10 minute timeout. If you do it again after the timeout, it will be a, a 24 hour timeout, which essentially is till tomorrow's stream. I ask again to just not self promote your tournament during my tournament. I would love to see more adult links. Uh, Fox, your favorite character? Nice. Ooh. All right, Chopper's trying to start to speed up here a little bit. Ooh, can you get a KO here? Yes, sir. Oh, he rolled into it. The Bananigans. Falco Fist takes the first game. Fitz tried his hardest here to push Chopper off the stage. I think Fox definitely plays a lot better here on a uh, on a uh, Fountain of Dreams. Woo! Only vaguely, barely get, uh, missing that forward smash. Uh, Fish Boy, you go up. 
Uh, I don't think you'd be playing the winner of this. You'd be playing the winner of this set. And so again, in order, we're doing uh, Neon Falco Fist, which is up right now. Next up, we're gonna have Katsu versus Aquatic Fox, and then we're gonna have Phantom versus Silver Surfer. And then if Fish, uh, if Falco Fist wins, uh, you guys are gonna be playing off stream just to give uh, enough time for you know to be done so Silver Surfer and Phantom could play. Yo, Fox versus Monka. Oh, he knew, he knew. Oh, is he going to be able to get the stock here? Oh, they, bro, they're just trading moves, blow for blow. You gotta take out the recycling? Okay, no doubt. Just know that uh, you, you're gonna be up next, Katsu, uh, the next set. So if you gotta get stuff down, done, now might be the time. Yo, Chopper is committed to staying in this tournament here. Great use of side B from uh, Falco Fist. Oh, Chopper looks ready to take this. Oh, great recovery from Falco Fist. That could have ended very poorly for him. Uh-oh. Is the download complete? Oh, what a spot dodge. Falco Fist is still in here. And just like that, Chopper puts his name on the board, making the score 1-1. The winner of, of this next match will move on. So a lot is riding on this here. They're fighting over that big ass banana. Let's see who monkey is more powerful. This is the third monkey we've had this entire tournament. I'm living for it. It is monkey madness, truly. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he went for it. I think Falco was ready, though. Falco is ready. He knows. He knows. Uh-oh. We go. Yo, wait a minute. Is Neon also a back air bandit, bro? The guild grows. The guild grows. Oh, he missed the smash. Next tournament, DK only Laval. Oh, beautiful back air. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Oh, that back air was delicious. That back air was delicious. That was a beautiful back air. I expect nothing less from a fellow member of the back air ban uh, bandits. Right. Young Chopper, bro. He's ready to chop on some bananas. Beautiful grab. He gets the forward throw, and he goes for it. All right, there we go. Falco Fist gets his name on the board. Oh, was not able to connect the back air. Oh, that could have been devastating. 
Falcon Fist is able to... Yo, the return to Cinder, bro. They're just smacking each other. Nice grab here. What are we going to get? All right. Falcon Fist deciding to play on the stage. I think that was smart. That could have went either or way. You don't want to play around like that on your last stock. Oh, that could have been devastating. Okay. Decided to go for... The oh! The back air banana against nose no ends, bro. That is the most disrespectful monkey maneuver we've seen today. Bro, he wanted it, bro. He wanted it, bro. All right. All Falcon Fist has to do here is just get a stock. I know that 175% is so intimidating. Bro, they're literally playing Donkey Kongo right now. Bro, they're literally playing Donkey Kongo on the GameCube right now, bro. Who's going to get the high score? Oh! This oh my is goodness. still best of three. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna have a uh best of five set until we do Phantom versus Silver Surfer. Yeah, no problem, man. Now, if I'm not wrong, did did uh did Katsu send Aquatic Fox to losers? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was uh, that was Phantom. Aquaman will win, bro. I mean, like I always like watching Aquatic Fox plays. You can feel the calculation. I think this is actually a really really good matchup here. Great spacing from Katsu here. He was immediately able to respond back with the jab string. He never misses this mark with those arrows. Nice back air. Yeah, Aquatic Aquatic Fox is really good at exploiting weaknesses. I've been no, I've been noticing. Yo, bro, is he actually Aquaman? Bro, that's a great nickname. <laughs> oh. Oh, but you know what? Katsu is ready. He got a good punish there with the up air. Okay, Katsu definitely came ready to play this tournament. Aquaman, where's Joker, bro? Where's the Manta Ray? Oh my goodness, the neutral air, the neutral air gameplay, bro. The neutral, neutral air gameplay. Oh, great grab from Aquatic Fox here. He's definitely looking to take this stock. stock from Katsu has a strong lead here bro he is moving with pit all right nice back throw let's see if aquatic fox get this uh, stock here Okay, gets the get up attack. Oh, didn't block the whole time. Katsuki has some big damage on the on the board already. 81%. What a spot dodge from Katsu. Oh, that's gotta hurt. All right, Aquatic taking his first stock here. The match isn't over, but these guys have been going at it for a while. There's just three minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock here. Does Aquatic have enough time to come back? Oh, that would have been devastating if, uh, if uh, Katsu has some more damage. All right, nice. Aquatic Fox doesn't even seem to be phased that he's 123% on his last stock.
But I, I, something tells me that his chance of coming back for Aquatic Fox isn't too far-fetched. Oh, what a setup. Both players are playing very cautiously right now. Aquatic Fox slowly built the damage up, but at 135%, he's gonna have to be real careful against Pit. Uh oh, this could be huge here. Oh, what a stop! Aquatic Fox is not out this fight yet, bro. He's very quickly closing the gap. Will Katsu be able to take both players in the sky? Who's gonna win here? Okay, Aquatic Fox was able to get safely get back on the ground. Oh, but Katsu was able to capitalize off the forward air, going to a down smash, and he takes the first game. intense first game, bro. Aquatic Fox showed that this man's mission is to get that download complete. I feel like we're gonna have a very interesting next match here. Bro, that was such a hype match, y'all. Oh, that's how you do this here. Three, two, one, go. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to vote on this poll. She found this out from Terry that we could just start polls. I don't even need the bot. Oh, Peter. Ah, uh, no worries, Aiden. I'm glad to have you here, homie. Welcome back aboard. Oh, salt Splatoon. But we're in our top eight now. Uh, we've seen some awesome, awesome, awesome matches. Oh, nice back air. Pit likes floor ice cream and Dark Pit doesn't. I think you prefer, <laughs> prefer Pit. I'm crying, dude. Oh. Let's see if this switch to Dark Pit will make some changes and adjustments to Katsu's gameplay here. Seems like he's checking uh, Aquatic Fox movement a little bit more with those uh, arrows. You know, they travel a lot faster. They might not curve, so they don't really work the same way as a combo ender, but it is a great way to stop Aquatic Fox's movement. Oh, all right. This time, Aquatic Fox takes the first stock here, but at 124%, he's going to have to be careful. Oh, Katsu is going for something super big brain there, and he was able to get the stock because of it. Okay, Aquatic Fox getting some damage up there. The shield broke, but Katsu was able to, uh, to block the forward smash. I think that would have killed him. Oh, what a great capitalization from Aquatic Fox. He opted to go for a neutral air. That was the safest bet there. The angle was kind of weird. Nice grab from Katsu. All right, he gets off his jab string. Aquatic is sitting thinking a little bit. Siding just getting up might be the best option. Bash just get the down tilt. Misses the up air. That up air would have been huge. Nice. Nice neutral air from Pit. Another neutral air. Hits the arrow. All right, what's Aquatic Fox going to do? Great spacing from Aquatic Fox. Just opting to use a side tilt. What a parry off the arrow. I wouldn't have perfect parry that. Okay, Aquatic Fox just opting to safely get on the stage. Not trying his luck, but to get on the other side of Pit. It just wasn't enough for the KO. Is he going to come back? Oh, my God. He could come back. He's waiting, though. He's waiting. Oh, my God. The patience on Aquatic Fox. The patience. Oh, 
disgusting. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Aquaman, you can do it. <laughs> well, first, that's the last stock. Makatsu was immediately able to close the gap, sprinting ahead, or widen the gap rather, sprinting ahead. Oh, great punishment. Great punishment from Aquatic Fox. Aquatic Fox, he has to take this here. If he loses, this said he will be eliminated from the tournament. Okay, he wasn't playing around down there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I respect it. I respect that. Bro, the fact that Aquatic Fox knows the, this, the safest time to roll, get back on the stage, just barely living. Oh, another great grab from Katsu here. He has to avoid those arrows. That arrow might kill. That arrow might kill. And Katsu takes the sacks to O. No, you didn't sign up for this tournament, Majin. All right, this is going to be a really interesting set. It's going to, uh, this is going to. This is gonna be a really interesting set. So we have Neon versus Katsu. Both players have been doing extremely well. I think this might be a Neon's second tournament here. Majin, I don't see your name at all on the sign up. I see 21 names and your name is not on the sign up sheet. All right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 Maja, you didn't sign up. You didn't sign up. No, you're good, bro. That's my bad. I probably didn't say that clearly enough. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie. There was a Pichu that stopped by and he cooked. I got a couple of clips from him, but that Pichu was legendary. But my man Neon once again showing his mastery for a lot of different and unique characters in this game. Off the dash attack. Beautiful. Also, if you guys haven't already, please be sure to follow Majin Diamond on YouTube. He's also a streamer, big member of our community. Uh, if you're looking to get better with Sonic, that's the guy to go to. Pichu is actually bigger than Omar. Interesting. Right, both players down in the second stock here. Oh, we get some cooking. Oh, misses the thunder though. Katsu was not trying to get hit with that. Well, both players are moving very quickly at such ease. Oh, that spark found his target. Oh, nice down tilt from Katsu and Chopper is unfortunately able to come back from this. It really is coming down to the wires, Majin Diamond. The winner of this uh, decides who goes against Silver Surfer for a chance against the Grand Finals. Great recovery from Chopper. That was a crazy angle. Oh, and he came back. 
It's not going to be quite enough. Not at that point in stage. It's not going to be enough for, for KO. You know what? I lied. I lied. It was at the correct distance. Oh, no. He ran right into the grab. Was able to sneak out. But he has to be careful here. 75% is scary for the little yellow rat. Katsu takes the first game, needing only one more to move on to winner's finals. This might this might be a cannon battle, bro. Pit must face himself. Bro, I can't believe there hasn't been a single stock yet, bro. I've been sitting here gritting my teeth. Oh, that'll do it though. That'll do it. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've been denied of some jiggly puff. I've been denied of some Jigglypuff action this week. So I, sh I shed a tear, bro. I shed a tear. Yo, what, what's going on? What are your usernames? Welcome back aboard to Salt Spatoon. What's, what's going on, Silver Lake? Welcome back. D, D, D. Oh, Smash Trivia. Who was canonically the fastest uh, Smash character? It's, it's, it gotta be Sonic, right? Sonic is faster than Captain Falcon, right? Like, are we talking about character lore or actual character base speed? My man said DDD, Laval. DDD does got that speed on him. I told you, he's not a true big boy. He's mad slim thick. Oh, did he say canonically? Oh, he did say canonically. I guess it would be. I guess it would be. Uh, uh, it definitely would be Sonic. My chopper's down to the last stock here, but he might not. Oh, 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 he's going for it. All right, Chopper has to get back on the stage here. It's critical. How was Palutena's guidance? Yo, what's going on? Hello. Oh, oh, he did it. Did he do it? Somebody's not coming back to the stage. I think Chopper was just at too low of a percent in order for him to get spiked down. Back throw, okay. Woo! 
and Katsu takes the set 2-0. We got Red Rob. We got Red Robin. Yo. I thought Phantom was about to get the stock. Oh, yeah, he did get the stock. He, he did. He did get the stock. He still got it. He, he still got it. Oh, nice up tilt. I am surprised I didn't kill. I know Rob is a little heavier, but just the angle, bro. The angle is. That was huge there and he threw it back at him Bro, they're just they're just tossing their spinning tops and henchmen and back and forth at each other Pinguino roll for the stock here 55% ain't so bad Bro, this is gonna be tough because whoever loses this set goes to losers finals and it like this is this is literally gonna might be a rock and a hard place for the rest of the people down and uh on the loser side Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, there it is, bro. This is the leader. Phantom's the leader of the back air bandits. The back air banditos, bro. Bro, he was so quick on that air dodge. Woo! Phantom taking another stock here. Let's see if the Don himself, the Don Pinguino, can overcome this tough, uh, tough match. All right, beautiful up tilt. It's not going to be enough for KO, but it does put Silver Surfer in a decent position. But Phantom was just so quickly able to get back on the stage. Gyro versus Gordino, exactly. Oh. Oh, fan, you know, Phantom wanted that so bad. I think that would have killed. I think that would have killed. All right, nice down smash. Uh oh. Oh, but he was, uh, Penguino was still in his super armor, but he shot his own man at him, bro. He shot Gordino back at the penguin. Oh, that was a mighty swing. Oh, beautiful up tilt from Silver Surfer. 126%, but he's not out this fight yet. Okay, he was able to get back on the stage. A little bit Gordino pressure goes a long way. Nice up tilt. These are both two former Super Salty Sanctuary Bros champions going at it. Oh! Okay, that was a nasty setup. That was an extremely nasty setup. That was an extremely nasty setup. Game five set of the night. Your match, is, your match is not best of five. As I said, it's only winners finals, losers finals, and grand finals. So the match that uh uh. When Fishboy and Neon are done, whoever wins that set, the, ma the set that you're playing is still best of three. Go, Pinguino, go! Oh! Well, let's see if Silver Surfer can close this gap here. Oh, beautiful neutral air. Oh, the suck! Oh, that up smash would have been a lot of damage. I, 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 I can't even question the things Phantom does. I don't know if he did the laser and the spinning top the same side on purpose. 
Let's see if he was gonna get sucked. Oh man, there it is. Oh! Oh, he was going for it again. He was going for that disrespectful KO again. Oh, beautiful neutral air from Pinguino. Listen, this is not a death sentence. Oh, he let go of the guard a little too early, but he's still kicking. He's still kicking here. Using Gordino as coverage so he can get back on the stage. Woo! He went over Rob and he didn't block it, but unfortunately, 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 Phantom was ready to react to that. Welcome back, Santiago. We are doing our winner's finals match right now. It is Don Pinguino versus Phantom. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, hold on. So let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. I can't believe Phantom was able to avoid that. He even opted to roll through it. It's going to happen here. Wow. He was just at the right height to avoid the stars from uh, the landing of, um, of Pinguino's recovery move. Phantom with the patience. Your bets on Phantom? Let's see what the score looks like here. It's like 50 50. And Phantom takes the second game. Oh my god, we getting the, the conga line. My man Rob is having a dance party, a robo dance party right now. See the way my man is moving his shoulders? You gotta get get that that dirt off your shoulders. Oh! Oh my goodness, bro. Just the, the unrelenting assault from Phantom. Okay, that was a huge recovery from Silver Surfer because it actually gave him a chance to get back on this uh, to the center of the stage. Oh, uh, what was the score, guys? What was the score, guys? A two one, nice game three set. Yo, amazing run, Fish Boy, my man, you was cooking, bro. And I believe that puts you in fifth place. That puts you in fifth place, Fish Boy. So congratulations on making that top eight. Oh, what a powerful back air. Uh, I think we are going to get Katsu and Neon on stream next. I think the rest of the matches from here on out are going to be on stream. It was your first tournament? Really, bro? You could have surprised me. He was cooking, bro. Yeah, you you versus Neon would be for fourth place. That's correct. And that's it. Phantom takes the set, 3-0, sending Silver Surfer to losers. Katsu did not come here unprepared today. Katsu already has that bounce on. I feel like Katsu just powered up here. I ain't talking about the magic spells. I can't believe Silver Surfer avoided that, man. The reaction. 
Oh, that's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna be enough to kill here. Yo, what's going on, EJ? Welcome back aboard to the Salt Spittoon. Right now, we're in Losers Finals right now. Oh, we have Silver Surfer, which is one of our previous Super Salty Sanctuary Bros champs, going against Katsu, who always has had a consistently good pit. But this tournament, bro, he's pulling all the stops for a chance to go up against Phantom himself, bro. Who is undoubtedly, Phantom is the lobby demon of the Salty Sanctuary Saltyverse. Uh, without doubt, bro. It's lol, dude, and what are usernames, bro? That's a great combination of chat names. Also, if you guys don't know, I do simulcast on both YouTube and Twitch. So be sure to drop a follow on Twitch. Drop a sub on YouTube. It helps out tremendously. We actually shot up 10 subs uh, uh, today. I went to sleep. I woke up. I had 10 more subs. So we're at 460 right now. We just need 40 more subs to hit 500. This is happening a lot faster than I thought. I thought it was going to be a while. I'm definitely going to hit the sub goal but hit before I hit the watch time goal. Yeah, no doubt. Owen, thank you so much for hanging out. I know it's late. Hopefully, you have everything sorted and you get to play in the tournament next week or at least in one of our open lobbies. Yo, what's going on, Brand Jam Jam Brand Man? you later, Owen. Have a good night. Oh, bro. Bro, Katsu is ready. But having that bounce on constantly eliminates a huge threat and that's gordino but when he is ain't got the magic ain't got the mp gordino is looking for you looking for your feet gotta watch your feet all right great grab from katsu Well, what are usernames? That actually makes a lot of sense because all the other, like, gen like quote-unquote gender swap characters in Smash, they're all actual characters, right? So it's not like it's, like, the gender swap of Pokemon Trainer Red. It's their, their other trainers. So, like, that makes sense. How's Monster Hunter World? God, I haven't touched Monster Hunter World in so long. Oh, the Pinguino Hammer. Silver Surfer was able to get through the tough matchup with two stocks on the board, taking the first game of this best to five. All right, so this is Marth with a wig. This, this is Marth with a wig. This is, ah, uh, I imagine that this is a pretty tough matchup for uh, the Pinguino in general. Uh, Lucina wins a lot of the aerial trades, I feel like. But we know my man Silver Surfer is not going nothing, something silly like a tier list. Get him down, bro. It's your girl, Marth. Exactly. It's your girl, Marth. Which character does have an idol animation? That's interesting. I don't know that one off rip. I'm going to take a guess. What about Game & Watch? Does Game & Watch have an idol animation? Oh, the Penguino slide. One hop now, y'all. Chris Kraus. Oh, Gordino found his mark. Wait, is it is it actually Game & Watch? Bro, the way he just sniped that Gordino. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, Game & Watch has two. Okay. Okay, that was a nice back air from Katsu. A nice neutral air from Pinguino. I was surprised. I didn't think that was the option he was going to go for. Oh, nice forward air. Really stacking on that damage. Great recovery. Oh, we gotta watch out. Okay, he's able to get back on the stage here. Oh, Katsu holding that shield, preventing himself from getting sucked. Oh, that that definitely was a pivoted back air.
Oh, nice back air from Dom Pinguino. Oh, oh he was able to uh, had enough time to recover and block the up tilt. So both players are moving very well. That's something that I have to say that Katsu excels at. He's very good at movement with the characters he plays. What happened there? What well, that was a very interesting. Oh, great grab here. Forward throw. Oh, he's far enough away. Silver Surfer had the good spacing. Okay, nice return to sender from Katsu. Oh, we're getting a Smash Brothers moment. Oh my God, that up tilt was devastating. That up tilt was devastating. It's an ultimate newcomer and it's a confirmed new character. Doesn't have an idol animation. Oh, Steve, Steve, that, uh, does Steve not? Uh, Steve probably doesn't have idol animation. It could be Steve. All right, let's see if Pinguino is going to be able to bring this back. He has to watch out for one good counter. One good counter might spell doom here. Oh, he was a little too early on the up tilt. Oh, way to do the spacing there. Oh, this, this could be it. might not have been the answer this could be anyone's game here uh oh oh manages to get in the gordino it's gonna happen could be anyone's game here Kats was doing a really good job of not getting hit by two big buttons too big of buttons Smash! Look at that up smash! He said, "Your bird's racing." Yo, wait a minute! I never even saw this one coming. He brought out the Kernando. Was the Kernando switch all we needed? Was the Kernando switch all Katsu needed, bro? Bro, this is my favorite timeline. The one where people get off high tier characters to play low tier characters to win a matchup, bro. This is the timeline I've sought after my entire life, bro. No one don't want to see no Marf with a wig on, bro. We want to see Kernando, bro. Look at the schmoomit. Look at the schmoomit, bro. Oh, nice grab from Pinguino. Yo, there it is to do your best. The motivation. Whoa, the return to center. Uh, uh, Katsu securing the stock at a very low, low percent. So if this is the goddess confirmed. Uh, so make this a setup for an isekai anime. I was a goddess that reincarnated as a Twitch viewer. Oh, oh, Silver Surfer was not messing around there. He said, all right, take your time on the next stock, baby. Okay, nice neutral air. You got two characters that can tell 50%. All right, here we go. All right, I still think Katsu might have a chance to turn this around. He gets the grippies. Bro, that would have been devastating if Katsu would have caught Pinguino because he would have killed himself. But 
Silver Surfer once again proving that the Dawn is the Dawn pin we know for a reason, bro. That was a great run. Uh, Katsu takes third place on this tournament. This character bro. rise up to bottom tier to high mid tier. Oh, and that's easy. That's Jigglypuff and Hungry Box. That's easy. Is that is that is it's, there's very few competitive Smash players that I care about. And this happened. Oh shoot, Phantom already took a stock. He already he already took a stock, bro. It's not hungry box. Oh, that's it. I'm all out of guesses, bro. <laughs> oh, return to Cinder. Bro, the Gordino betrayal. Woo, that could have been really bad for Phantom. He doesn't. Uh, there was no uptech from Penguino, though. So he did not get eviscerated by the up tilt. Oh my god, is that it? Okay, it's not gonna be enough. Bro, my man used the up air to get back on the stage. That was devastating. Silver Surfer lands the up tilt, but it's not gonna be enough for the KO. He does get a big grab out of that. I think. I think. Fan oh, that was disgusting, bro. That was, that whole play was disgusting. Well, you know I have to clip that. The character has been in the original eight in Smash Bros. Who else is low tier? You said it melee? Hmm. Well, I don't want to just guess. Uh, uh, I don't want to guess eight times, bro, because that kind of would take the fun out of it. Silver Surfer takes the first game. We got a little H2O on our system. You know, them pinguinos need to keep them feathers moisturized. Yeah, no worries what our usernames. Always like that you come in with the trivias. All right, here we go. Bro, Phantom looked like he was about to do some superhero shenanigans. They're really getting these hard trades. The spinning top. The spinning top for the Gordino. Look at that. Now, if you guys recall, uh, Phantom was actually the one to send Silver Surfer to losers way, way earlier. And the winner's finals, matter of fact, that wasn't even that long ago. Phantom getting a disgusting down throw to up smash KO, bro. That gotta hurt. Yo, Gordino! The betrayal. 
Okay, great capitalization of, of the up air from Silver Surfer. Spinning Top was not able to make it on the stage. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not going to be enough to do it. Oh, my goodness. Look at the rombos. The rombos, bro. Oh, that's going to hurt. It's not enough for the KO, though. That'll do it. That'll do it. Rob, Rob, Rob is up 3-1 in terms of stocks. Oh, and that was too. Pinguino said, I got an up tilt for you. Got to go. By the way, the answer was Yoshi. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool. Appreciate you for hanging out. Oh, Rob was not able to get the full side B off. Doesn't put him in the best position. Silver Surfer getting off that Pinguino hammer. Uh-oh. Oh, great grab from Rob. Oh, that'll do it. The score is 1-1. One, one. Oh, nice Pinguino roll to avoid the Rob neutral air. Oh, I can't believe he didn't get that grab. Nice up air. Oh, man. Yo, Phantom was not getting around. I think he does know. I think he does know. It's not going to be enough for the KO, though. And listen, Silver Surfer is still in this. Can he come back? Oh, he's not coming back from that. So Phantom takes the first stock. Nice up tilt from Silver Surfer. He backed up, but unfortunately got hit with the beam. He gets the suck, though. Putting him in an advantage situation. Beautiful forward air. I blinked. Where did Pinguino go? All right, let's see if he get that quick return to spin Cinder. He said, it's now my turn to pick up your toy, Rob. Uh-oh. Oh, Phantom was really going for that? That would have been devastating if he got off the second side B. At that far uh, that far off the stage, I think he would have got that KO. Oh, what a grab. Okay. Pinguino's not out of this yet. Oh, the Pinguino slide. I think the timing was just a little bit off from Phantom. I'm surprised the spinning top did not... Uh, did not counter Gordino here. Great forward air from Silver Surfer. Wow, that was an amazing roll. Up tilt. He does get the up air. It's not going to be enough, though. Pinguino is a little slim thing. But Rob held on, and that'll do it. That'll do it. The score is now 2-1. If Phantom wins the next game, he will be our new champion again of the Super Salty Sanctuary Bros. Bro, my man Phantom really turns Rob into Rob Nardo. He really turns Rob into Rob Nardo, bro. Okay, we're getting some big clashes here. Oh, <laughs> literally, they're going blow for blow. Nice up tilt from uh, Silver Surfer. Oh, great angle is actually able to punish Phantom for the side B. Nice grab. Back throw. We were going to get off of this. Oh, and that's going to be Gordino for a laser. And Gordino takes the stock. 
He rolled right into the suck. What? He missed the grab? I can't tell if it's just because ZDD grab is stubby or uh, Rob's hitbox is a little smaller than it appears. Oh, that was huge. The misplaced side, he definitely costed uh, a Phantom some damage. Might have even been able to get the stock. All right, what about now? Which way is he going to go? No, that was all he needed. It was, there was a lot of damage. He was able to just get off that slightly charged up smash. Great up tilt. Wasn't enough. He was pretty high up in the air, but it wasn't enough to take Rob out. Oh, Phantom was ready for the recovery that time. He has a lot of work to do. He's going to have to watch out for those Gordinos. I think Silver Surfer changing up his pattern for Gordino has been helping a lot. Beautiful up tilt. All right, Silver Surfer is still in this game. All right, yeah, that's not going to be enough to kill. Nice fast fall in that neutral air from, uh, from Pinguino. Oh, nice up tilt. I saw up tilt up air. Oh! One, go! All right, here we go. We hydrated. My man is hydrated now. And we on Fountain of Dreams, bro. My man is dripping in hydration. Oh, great suck. But why is it that every match between like every last game five match between Phantom and Silver Surfer is always on Fountain of Dreams, bro? Oh, great use of the spinning top to stop the hammer. There's no need to, to, to contest it because you never know when the when the Don himself is going to unleash that uh, that hammer, that jet hammer Sigma. All right, here we go. Oh, he got it that time. Phantom definitely reflected it back with the side people. We got a doctor disrespectful moment there. Great down air from Silver Surfer. Oh, but there is a return to sender. Both players are equal down to two stocks, bro. Silver Surfer breaks out of the pack with 17% damage. It seems like Silver Surfer has ad adapted. I mean, if you think about it, Silver Surfer has played Phantom a lot in this tournament. <laughs> Skibbity Rizgiat. Oh. Oh. Well, let's see if Phantom could close this percentage gap. Oh, that was smart. Oh, he wasn't even trying it, bro. Once again, both players are pretty much equal here. Great down smash. That's a move that I don't think you see so uh, Phantom use very often. Is uh, uh, Rob's down smash? No way, Rob. No way, my man was doing that. He was hiding in the corner. Is that, it's not gonna be enough for the stock. Oh, what a beautiful back air! All right, Phantom is definitely going to try to get as much damage as he can here. Not too much caring about, uh, not too much caring about what he takes. He want, definitely wants at least a 70%. Oh, that's got to hurt. The forward air was able to hit Gordino and Phantom back. All right, 75%. That is a good distance to have here. Silver Surfer is going to have to make sure he gets back on the stage safely, avoiding taking too much damage. I'm surprised that killed, but just like that. <laughs>